So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, nitrogen trifluoride, NF3. Uh, and we're going to ask ourselves, is, is this molecule polar or nonpolar? Well, the first thing I like to do, again, is draw my lowest structure. And so I'm going to count my valence electrons. And I know in the molecular formula, I have nitrogen and three fluorine atoms. Now, from the periodic table, we know that nitrogen has five valence electrons. And we know that fluorine is a halogen. It has seven valence electrons. All right, so three times seven is 21. Uh, plus 5 will give me a total of 26 electrons that I have to place with this molecule. All right, so 26 electrons. All right, so again, usually the atom furthest to the left in the molecular formula will be our central atom. And so, generically, if I look at just the electron geometry, uh, then I have nitrogen that's surrounded by four, uh, three fluorine atoms. Now, starting to connect the dots, uh, we know that we could form single bonds between the nitrogen and fluorine simply uh, just because a uh, single bond is just about in any molecular formula you could find. And so this far, we've placed um, two, four, six uh, electrons out of the eight electrons, out of the 26 that we have to place. So we still have 20 electrons to place. Now, remember that nitrogen is one of those mol uh, one of those um atom that its octet uh, typically is satisfied so we must satisfy a um, nitrogen's octet in this case right fluorine is a halogen and so at this point um we could actually form three pairs of lone pairs around the fluorines and this will give me eight total valence electrons around the, uh, the fluorine on the left i could also do the same thing for the fluorine on the bottom and i also could do the same thing for the fluorine on the right so thus far, we've placed 24 valence electrons, right? We have um, uh, eight electrons around the fluorine atom, and so that's three times eight. So three eights, we know that to be 24, and so we're missing two uh, pairs of electrons. So the only other place we could put these uh, two electrons is on the, the nitrogen. And uh, it's, on, it's on the nitrogen. Now... The lone pair here uh, is very interesting. Mm. So this is actually the electron, I'm um, sorry, the molecular geometry of the molecule. But if I were to redraw the molecule, the actual shape of the molecule, because of the lone pair, the lone pair actually bring these bonds closer uh, together. So they kind of bend, the lone pairs kind of, uh, the electrons are repulsed, uh, or, or uh, you have negative charges beside each other, so they're, um, essentially separating they're trying to separate themselves as much as possible and so what ended up hap what ends up happening is that they push the bonds down so the bond angles become less and they become closer to each other so if we if we were to draw the actual the best representation of the, of the molecule it would be the molecular geometry and it would be uh, something like this where the the bonds are pushed down all right so again i still have my lone pair on the nitrogen and I still have my lone pairs on the fluorine atom. Mm. So having this representation do or uh, uh, get to get into this point will do yourself a justice. Now, again, let's draw a dipole moments. And we know that fluorine is actually the most electronegative atom. So at this uh, at this point, uh, the electrons will be centered uh, closer towards uh, the fluorine. So our nitrogen here will get a partial positive charge and our fluorine will get the partial uh, negative. Mm -hmm. Now, we're looking simply for uh, the dipoles uh, being canceled out, right? So are, are any dipoles being canceled? Well, the idea here is a no, right? We essentially do not have any dipole moment being canceled out. Why? Because if I look at the flanks, if I look at these dipole moments and I add them together, what is the net direction? If I add the dipole moment on the left and the dipole moment on the right, the net direction is straight down the middle. And so we do have a net dipole moment. And so in this case, nitrogen trifluoride is actually a polar uh, molecule. So this is a uh, one of the explanation for why on an exam you would say okay well this molecule is a polar molecule all right the same thing is true for another molecule like ammonia